Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Gospel in 40 Days for Lent. I'm your host, Kennedy Hall. We're almost there, about a week and a half until the big day. Can you believe it? It's gone by so fast. Today, we're reading from the Gospel of John, chapters 5 and 6, and I'm going to skip all of the introduction stuff, but you know where the links are for the pilgrimage, for the sacred music, for the Substack slash YouTube memberships, and to donate to the school. All of those links are in the description box to this podcast. All right, let's get into it. John, chapter 5. After these things was a festival day of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem a pond called Probatica, which in Hebrew is named Bethsaida, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of sick, of blind, of lame, of withered, waiting for the moving of the water. And an angel of the Lord descended at certain times into the pond, and the water was moved. And he that went down first into the pond after the motion of the water was made whole, of whatsoever infirmity he lay under. And there was a certain man there that had been eight and thirty years under his infirmity. Him when Jesus had seen lying and knew that he had been now a long time, he saith to him, Wilt thou be made whole? The infirm man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled to put me into the pond. For whilst I am coming, another goeth down before me. Jesus saith to him, Arise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and he took up his bed, and walked. And it was the Sabbath that day. The Jews therefore said to him that he was healed. It is the Sabbath, it is not lawful for thee to take up thy bed. He answered them, He that made me whole, he said to me, Take up thy bed and walk. They asked him therefore, Who is the man who said to thee, Take up thy bed and walk? But he who was healed knew not who it was, for Jesus went aside from the multitude standing in the place. Afterwards, Jesus findeth him in the temple and saith to him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest some worse thing happen to thee. The man went his way and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him whole. Therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus, because he did these things on the Sabbath. And Jesus answered them, My father worketh until now, and I work. Hereupon therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he did not only break the Sabbath, but also said God was his father, making himself equal to God. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything, of himself, but what he seeth the Father doing. For what things soever he doth, these the Son also doth in like manner. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things which himself doth, and greater works than these will he show him, that you may wonder. For as the Father raiseth up the dead, and giveth life, so the Son also giveth life to whom he will. For neither doth the Father judge any man, but hath given all judgment to the Son, that all men may honor the Son as they honor the Father. He who honoreth not the Son honoreth not the Father who hath sent him. Amen, amen, I say unto you, that he who heareth my word and believeth him that sent me hath life everlasting, and cometh not into judgment, but is passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say unto you, that the hour cometh, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in himself, so he hath given the Son also to have life in himself, and he hath given him power to do judgment, because he is the Son of man. Wonder not at this, for the hour cometh wherein all that are in the grave shall hear the voice of the Son of God. And they that have done good things shall come forth unto the resurrection of life, but they that have done evil unto the resurrection of judgment. I cannot of myself do anything. As I hear, so I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of him that sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. You sent to John, and he gave testimony to the truth, but I receive not testimony from man. But I say these things, that you may be saved. 
He was a burning and a shining light, and you were willing for a time to rejoice in his light. But I have a greater testimony than that of John. For the works which the Father hath given me to perfect, the works themselves which I do give testimony of me, that the Father hath sent me. And the Father himself who hath sent me hath given testimony of me. Neither have you heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And you have not his word abiding in you. For whom he hath sent, him you believe not. Search the scriptures, for you think in them to have life everlasting, and the same are they that give testimony of me. And you will not come to me that you may have life. I receive glory not from men, but I know you, that you have not the love of God in you. I am come in the name of my Father, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. How can you believe who receive glory one from another, and the glory which is from God alone you do not seek? Think not that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, Moses, in whom you trust. For if you did believe Moses, you would perhaps believe me also, for he wrote of me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? Chapter 6 After these things Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is that of Tiberias. And a great multitude followed him, because they saw the miracles which he did on them that were diseased. Jesus therefore went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. Now the Pasch, the festival day of the Jews, was near at hand. When Jesus therefore had lifted up his eyes, and seen that a very great multitude cometh to him, he said to Philip, Whence shall we buy bread, that these may eat? And this he said to try him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred pennyworth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, saith to him, There is a boy here that hath five barley loaves and two fishes, but what are these among so many? Then Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. The men therefore sat down in number about five thousand. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to them that were set down, in like manner also of the fishes, as much as they would. And when they were filled, he said to his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, lest they be lost. They gathered up therefore, and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above to them that had eaten. Now those men, when they had seen what a miracle Jesus had done, said, This is of a truth the prophet that is to come into the world. Jesus therefore, when he knew that they would come to take him by force and make him king, fled again into the mountain himself alone. And when evening was come, his disciples went down to the sea. And when they had gone up into a ship, they went over the sea to Capernaum. And it was now dark, and Jesus was not come unto them. And the sea arose, by reason of a great wind that blew. When they had rowed therefore about five and twenty or thirty furlongs, they see Jesus walking upon the sea, and drawing nigh to the ship, and they were afraid. But he saith to them, It is I, be not afraid. They were willing therefore to take him into the ship, and presently the ship was at the land to which they were going. The next day the multitude that stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was no other ship there but one, and that Jesus had not entered into the ship with his disciples, but that his disciples were gone away alone. But other ships came in from Tiberias, nigh unto the place where they had eaten the bread, the Lord giving thanks. When therefore the multitude saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they took shipping and came to Capernaum, seeking for Jesus. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you seek me, not because you have seen miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that which endureth unto life everlasting, which the Son of Man will give you. For him hath God the Father sealed. They said therefore unto him, 
What shall we do, that we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him who he hath sent. They said therefore to him, What sign therefore dost thou show, that we may see, and may believe thee? What dost thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Moses gave you not bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which cometh down from heaven, and giveth life to the world. They said therefore unto him, Lord, give us always this bread. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall not hunger, and he that believeth in me shall never thirst. But I said unto you, that you also have seen me, and you believe not. All that the Father giveth to me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will not cast out, because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Now this is the will of the Father who sent me, that of all that he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again in the last day. And this is the will of my Father that sent me, that every one who seeth the Son and believeth in him may have life everlasting, and I will raise him up in the last day. The Jews therefore murmured at him, because he had said, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How then saith he, I came down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said to them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me, except the Father who hath sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up in the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught of God, every one that hath heard of the Father, and hath learned, cometh to me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, but he who is of God, he hath seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say unto you, he that believeth in me hath everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the desert and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that if any man eat of it, he may not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, you shall not have life in you. He that eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, hath everlasting life. And I will raise him up in the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood abideth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, the same also shall live by me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna, and are dead. He that eateth this bread shall live for ever. These things he said teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. Many, therefore, of his disciples hearing it said, This saying is hard, and who can hear it? But Jesus, knowing in himself that his disciples murmured at this, said to them, Doth this scandalize you? If then you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that did not believe, and who he was that would betray him. And he said, Therefore did I say to you that no man can come to me unless it be given him by my Father. After this many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then Jesus said to the twelve, Will you also go away? And Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we have believed and have known that thou art the Christ, 
the Son of God? Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? Now he meant Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for this same was about to betray him, whereas he was one of the twelve. This concludes another edition of the Gospel in 40 Days. I will see you tomorrow.